Hello YouTube. Tonight I'm going to show you how to draw a two-dimensional representation of a 3D object. In drafting software, I'm using DraftSight as an AutoCAD clone, and I've allowed you to see my command line, this thing in the upper left, so you can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. I'm typing in C for circle, and I'm picking the center of the circle and the radius. That's all there is to it. There's our circle. Now I'm typing in, back at the command line, Array. This is already set up as a circular array, not a linear or rectangular array. And it's asking us for the angle between the objects that we are going to rotate about a pivot point. And it's set at 10 degrees. And if we divide a 360 degree circle by 10, that gives us 36 objects. You can see that here. 10 and 36. So it's prompting us to select the entity we want to array, this circle, and then it's asking us for an access point, which is the quadrant, the bottom quadrant of the circle right there. Now if I hit OK, boom, there it is. And I hope you can see or get the illusion that even though these are 2D on a flat screen, it appears to be a torus with that depressed pillow type center. Now this is the density we get with 36 circles rotated 10 degrees about that bottom quadrant. It's good enough, you know, but I did this earlier with a much tighter array. 72 circles arrayed 5 degrees. 72 times 5 is 360. So you can see the difference. And you can play with these things between the tighter mesh here and the uh, looser mesh. Now, there's a kid's toy called a spirograph or something that does this exact same thing. Of course, no one knew about Taurus as that. But nonetheless, uh, you get the idea. Okay, I hope that was at least amusing, if not useful. If you found it helpful, yeah, feel free to share this with someone else who might benefit from this. That's it for tonight. God bless you. I love you all. Take good care, people. Bye-bye.